welcome back. Today is another Jersey episode, and we're going to be watching episode three of the second season. It's titled Creepin'. I actually found out some news, some little gossip. I know about the Reddit AMA, but I didn't know there was another producer who also did an AMA, and they said the girls were much closer to Ronnie than Sam. They really weren't friends with Sam. They were mo mostly friends with Ronnie. So that's why it was so hard for them to go against their friend and tell her. And it's so sad when you look back on this and you see just her expecting her real friends in the house to tell her the truth. And they don't even see her as the real friend. Going forward, I think that adds a little bit more context to all of this. Okay, the last thing we saw was Angelina smacking Holly and him getting really mad about it. Rightfully so. Don't touch people. Angelina is saying all these things to us. She's getting at us. Like, the girl's drunk. She's a mess. I know you're crying right now, baby, but... I think they're drunk and, like, coked up. Get the away from Holly. me! Holly! Oh my god, Angelina, you are drunk. Get in your bed! <laughs> oh my god. That was my favorite. One of my favorite Mike moments is when he yells at her like that. Because we smacked him. I had nothing Three to do with walked out of the Please, three times. Was wet. Three times you smacked him in the face. Why are you even talking to her? She's so drunk. I didn't smack you yo, at all. Yo. I'm standing here by myself. Everybody else <laughs> what is the Are you delusional? Are you delusional? This Casey's like, yeah, she's drunk right now, but that's dead as how she is. It's just cranked up to 10, and everyone notices it because she's drunk. Jenny, I didn't smack Polly at all. Listen, at the end of the day, I kicked my brother. Doesn't matter. And if he can't hit you, I can, and you're lucky you're this drunk. I think about making out with your brother, but sure. God forbid I cut a melon too small and too tiny, but yet they're gonna be blended anyways. It's no good. You gave it game. I lose my fucking mind. I would lose my mind. Only thing worse than a retail job is a food job. I woke up this morning and I'm like, something's wrong. Paulie and Mike are ignoring me now. I think I got to a fight with Paulie. I don't even know. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, she's such a liar. So you might have taken the cake. What was I saying to Polly that he was upset with me? Uh, news. But she knows she said something to him. Can I talk to you? Come here. Just please, like, I'm like really upset. Yes, I'm upset. I'm upset, so you have to talk to me. Oh my gosh, she's the worst. I'll be cool with you. Just do you. You can't. Do I get like, do do I get like a, um, a get out of jail free card or something? Because I didn't. The fact that she's having an attitude as she's apologizing is fucking insane. It's just so hard. I didn't think it was going to be this bad coming in to the house. Well, you made it 10 times worse for yourself. You yourself made it worse for yourself. It don't feel good. I'm actually starting to feel bad for Angelina. I mean, that's what she wants. We're all going to be here for a little bit. So, you know, we're going to have to work out something in the house. I think production made them do that. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been that fun. I'm telling you that you're going to be living in the same house for two months. There's a new slate. We should take her upon the way that she acts now and not pat. So mature of him, to be honest. And she's really lucky that he has a soft spot for her. I feel bad because I was in the same position as you. I don't think Snooki did anything to the same level that Angelina did. What did she do? She was just like annoyingly drunk one time, like annoyingly. She's over here hitting people for no reason. Whatever you think I said, I probably said it. I just want That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's funny. I'll accept the apology and yeah. um, go from there. And then when she doesn't change, then at least she knows it's her fault. We're having another amazing night out. Next thing you know, I look over. Ron's face wasted. I just don't appreciate that. They really fuck with her confessionals, I think, the most. What did she do? She can't be tired? I really felt like at that moment, like that was the end of Sam and Ron. I wish it was, Sammy. And I'm gonna say that every single time you say it. Seeing thirsty ass bitches is really like, ugh, for me. It's embarrassing. I literally think she meant like a line of coke. I'm trying to have a good time <laughs> with my friends. What, what's, what's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. Because you're a fucking idiot. You can do that, but don't tell Sam that you want a relationship with her then. It's so simple and easy, but you're just stupid. People should mind their own business. 
I don't get involved with Emilio and Schnucky. Keep to yourself, and that's that's the way I think. But you're not friends with Emilio, you fucking idiots. Look at him. Ronnie, push your Snooky. So I, we had to step in right then and there. He's garbage. He was the one saying, I'm the one who talked to her after that guy punched her in the face. I was the one who was there, threw her in the lake on the side of the face that she got hit in and just pushed her. And I keep, and I keep, and I go, oh my. <laughs> you can't laugh at any of his jokes because he gets carried away. This is the second night Ronnie has hooked up with some girls and then going home and sleeping with Sam. Am I supposed to do this? Ew. Hello. <laughs> He tried to put the duck on the phone. <laughs> oh, come on, get up. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, what's up? Is Nicole there? Come on. Oh, uh, she's sleeping, bro. In my bed. Yeah, yeah, she's sleeping with me. <sighs> Touch her. Okay. That's where Angelina starts plotting. Sam's in bed with Ronnie. <laughs> Sick of the like same. Like uh, old now, huh? I'm tired of it, dude. They're tired of season two, episode three. One minute we're fighting, and next thing you know, he's in my bed, like cuddling me, and he's, he's kind of giving me mixed signals. Maybe she wouldn't have gone back to him if she knew when it happens. I do still love Sam, and I have feelings for her, but you know, sometimes I'm not really good at showing her that I want to be with her. Yeah, you show that you want to be single and fuck around. Being affectionate? Why? She's my girlfriend. What? She's my girlfriend. And I was kind of like, oh, like, yay, finally, like. Finally, after he, after he literally said that you're a fucking bitch, and then just came home to smash, and he says it's at the gelato shop, I would be like, oh. Uh, uh, so I now you're right. I, I, would, yeah, I, would, I would I totally agree. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Guys, it's so corny. Shut up. Look, we're trying to do an MVP guy night. I'd still go. Why? They don't want you there. Take a hint. It's not even a hint. They're like actively saying, do not come with us. She's annoying. You guys ready? Yeah. Hold on, when are we leaving to go? Huh? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> when are we leaving to go? They're being so dead ass. They don't want you there. Jenny, kill me right now. Go. But I'm going. Yeah. I thought she's pretending like she doesn't want to go. And yet she's going. Unfortunately, Angelina is not going to meet up with us tonight. Oh. <laughs> she can at least change her club outfit. At, at one particular point, I remember I was in the jacuzzi and I finally put some water on my face. And I was like, oh, we, we got grenades, man. <laughs> They're so messed up. You know, we're we're in the, we're at the zoo. <laughs> Me smiling and had no clue. And the hyenas hypnotized them. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh no, there so, it is. We're just chilling. Oh my god, it's right next to him. What the? What the is that? It's crazy because she knows what it is. So if those are your friends, why are you? Oh my god, why are you gonna embarrass her like that? He, uh, some it was like a a rubbery. I don't know what the I hate that they made it seem so dramatic. It's just to like cover your nipples so it doesn't show through your shirt. That's it. We had to get them out of there because this is a grenade free zone. Just walk anywhere. Yeah, for you. That is so embarrassing. Why would any girls after seeing that ever go back with them? I can't see any ice creams. I can't see customers because I'm a smurf. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute, though. I want to go with the girls, and you know, I'm gonna go to clutch with the guys. What? So if you want, if you want to go with Snooki and Jenny, then I'm gonna go to clutch with the guys. She could have easily said, "No, I don't want to go." If he yeah, goes out, I would be really pissed off. <laughs> but you're not gonna do anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, come on, bro. I love spending time with Sam, but I'm in Miami with my my boys. I'm gonna go out. I don't even think they like you, if I'm being honest. I don't think you actually f out. You told him he can go. I didn't think he actually would. That was a test, you jerk off. I tested it. <laughs> yeah. But hey, so then just go out. Like, you don't have to stay at home. That just was like a slap in my face. Like, any guy just would Just slap like... him in the face, please. Not literally. Right, 
did I do something to you? I think it's hilarious that he did this yet again for family vacation, but he couldn't get away with it as quickly as he did for this, or as long as he did for this one because people immediately took pictures of him. All right, that was such an infuriating episode because Ronnie infuriates me. He's just so like, what is the point of calling her your girlfriend if you're just gonna do that? Just, you could have stayed exactly where you were, just single, and that way you have the excuse like, I'm single, I can do whatever the fuck I want. But no, you have to say that she's your girlfriend just to then go out the same night. She also is dumb, but I, I have a, like, I have faith in my girl. I feel like if she knew at this exact time, she would have done something as opposed to the way she found out. She was already with him. She already felt like she had to save the relationship. She was just way too into the relationship. I think I have slight hope that if she found out during Miami, and maybe saw for herself, things would have been different. I personally would have been like, oh my god, you know, it'd be so funny if we also go to the club and just like meet up with them and have her see it instead of having to believe different people. That way she knows the truth and he can't manipulate his way out of it. Oh, such a sad, sad relationship. <laughs> All right, let me know you thought and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.